Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my empties of 2022 and I actually calculated how many of these empties I had because I put them on my floor yesterday to see how many I had and I have over 70 items in this video and that is crazy for me because I honestly didn't think I would get through 70 and they're all in this massive Hollister bag right here. It's pretty much filled right up to the top. It is so heavy and I had to take everything out yesterday so I could see exactly what I have and hopefully it's not going to be a massive long video because some of the products I've used multiples of the same thing so I'll show you exactly how many that I use and what I have in each category. So I'll go in categories of hair care, tan, skincare and makeup and I'm actually really happy with the amount of skincare that I managed to get through. It just shows how long things actually last for and then makeup products I did okay but this year I'm going to try and do a lot better than I did. So the first empties that I have are tan and I actually have seven bottles of self tan so if you guys know I am super super pale naturally, I am porcelain, I'm the fairest of the fair and I do tan all year round even if it's just a gradual tan and these are all from Bondi Sands. So the one that I have on its own is a Bondi Sands liquid gold self tanning dry oil spray. Now I did use this for the longest time before they brought out the rest of them and this was really really good. I love the colour of this. The only thing is it's so annoying when you have to keep spraying it so I did use all of this up. I do have a tiny bit in there at the moment but this stuff is just expired that's in here. So I have this. I do really like the liquid gold range and you will have to see from the rest of the products that I have. I have six of the Aero Liquid Gold. I go for this one and I also go for the foam and I like the fact that you can put this on at night and you don't have to wash it off the next morning. That is what I really like about the Liquid Gold range because I hate washing it off in the morning and then the colour has to try and develop. With this, it develops overnight while you're wearing it and I really do like it. This actually is a very quick drying formula. I think this is amazing. I am, like I said, super fair. I'm ginger and this does not make me look orange. It has a really nice glow to it. At the moment, I am using the gradual tan and it just gives a really nice look to the skin. So I have this and I have five more bottles of exactly the same tan and I can't fit them all in my hands. I've done it. I have six. So hair care. I have three products. Two of them are exactly the same thing and then one of them is slightly different. So the first thing I have is the Dry Bar Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. Now this stuff I did really like. I did get it in a subscription box which one was it? I'm trying to think FabFitFun that's where I got this from so I got this from FabFitFun and I wouldn't to be honest buy this on its own because it's dry bar it's so expensive I don't know if you can even get it in the UK but this is pretty good it had biotin vitamins B and C UV blockers I like this I thought this was really good it was a really good detangler and heat defense brace and the other two things I have are from Vegamore they're the hair serum the grow one and I have two of these because I use these up I am trying this out at the moment so I can't really give you a definitive answer on if I really like it but so far it's doing pretty good. Now I do have very thin hair at the front of my hair just because I've had hair extensions for years and years. Also I used to bleach my hair when I was younger as well so my hair has been through a lot but I haven't actually dyed my hair in I think about five years and my hair is feeling so much better and I have been using new products on it so I've been using like frizzies and things like that and it has been really working so I have noticed a little bit of difference but I am going to be testing this out for about six months and I'll give you an update just to let you know how it's going. Next is skincare and eye care and skincare is my biggest category I think for that one or makeup is the biggest category that I have so I'm going to start off by showing you the eye care because I don't have that many products in here but some of these I really do like so the first ones are these eye patches they're Florence by Mills and they're the swimming under the eyes gel eye pads now you do get 60 in these and I absolutely love these eye pads I don't have any left because they were absolutely incredible I can't find where these are anymore because they're just sold out pretty much everywhere so if you guys know where I can get these please let me know because they're amazing they feel so nice and hydrating under the eyes they really wake up the eyes as well and they look really cute because they're like little whales these are my favorite eye patches I will constantly repurchase these and I have two eye creams and these are pretty expensive but something about them I actually like. So the first one is the Tarte Maracuja Sea Brightener Eye Treatment. This stuff I actually do like. It is pretty small, but you do get quite a lot in there. You get 10 grams of product in there, and I did really like it. It felt very nice and hydrating. I can't say if I noticed a difference with wrinkles because I just... 
I really didn't know but it didn't irritate my eyes everything irritates my eyes and this didn't so for me it was a winner for that I'm not sure if I would repurchase it but it's a good eye treatment I mean if Tarte have an off round where you can get an eye cream in their products then I will go ahead and get it Chanel Le Lift Cream Yo and this stuff I think is absolutely incredible it feels so nice and cooling under their eyes I did notice a little bit of a difference with the puffiness and then also with the wrinkles under my eyes didn't irritate me at all it felt very nice and hydrating and refreshing but again I just don't know if it's worth the money it's like 60 or 70 pounds now so for an eye cream that's expensive I have been using some more affordable options you do get 15 grams in here so you do get five grams more than you do in the tart one but it's nice doesn't irritate me feels nice and hydrate and helps with puffiness but just not sure if it is worth the money not sure if I'm going to repurchase it again and then I also have two eye serums as well or eye gels the first one is from simple it's a brightening eye gel helps brighten hydrate and relieve screen stressed eyes and also has antioxidants and vitamins and ginger in there as well and this stuff is so good I really like it helps to waken my eyes up and it just it feels very very nice I really like it and because it's simple it doesn't irritate sensitive eyes and I always use this as the first thing when I'm doing my makeup. This is super affordable. I think it's like five, six pounds. So I recommend getting it because I'm also on my other two that I have. I have two more of this, but I also have a hydrating one. And I go between this one and the hydrating one. If you do work on computers, this stuff is great. So I highly recommend it. It's really good. And then the other one is an eye serum. And this one is from L'Oreal. It's the Revitalift Filler and Hyaluronic Acid. It has 2.5% hyaluronic acid and caffeine eye serum. It feels nice in the eyes. It does feel quite sticky so that is something you do have to put on an eye cream after this because otherwise your makeup tends to peel and your eyelids tend to stick together so that is the only thing I don't like about it but it feels very cooling it feels very refreshing under the eyes it doesn't irritate my eyes and I looked at this and it said caffeine and everything with caffeine tends to irritate my eyes but this doesn't it feels nice and you also get the little wand in there as well this is an absolute disgusting bottle but you get the wand in there and the wand is like three balls and it just feels so nice and cooling. I love it. I don't think I'd pay full price for it because I think it's about 25 to 30 pounds if it's full price, but I always get this on offer. I think I get it for like 16 pounds. So always keep your eyes on the deals because there's always deals on the L'Oreal eye care and the skincare. And skincare is such a massive category that I do have to split that into categories. So the first things are my cleanser. So I have two that I managed to get through and that's saying something because it shows that this lasted such a long time and the first one is the La Roche Posay and this one's the Effaclar purifying foaming gel and this one's for oily sensitive skin so I had oily skin I have super super sensitive skin and usually you can't find a product that's for sensitive skin and also for oily skin usually it's sensitive and dry skin because apparently everyone that has sensitive skin also has dry skin now that's obviously not true because I was the person that didn't have that type of skin and this actually worked really nicely it didn't have much of a scent this is the massive bottle this was 400 millilitres and I got this on offer I think it was about 18 pounds and this lasted me for nearly the entire year I think this has lasted me for about nine ten months so if you do want a cleanser and you do have oily acne prone sensitive skin then this will be a really good one for you then also I've got the body shop tea tree skin clearing foaming cleanser now I did start using this one before I used this one and that's just because I was using all the things from the body shop the tea tree line to try and help my skin this was nice but I felt like that this one did more than this one and I have two toners but I do have multiples of one of them so the first one I have is the Lizelle instant boost skin tonic this stuff was actually quite nice but I felt like it wasn't really doing anything for my acne because my acne was so bad and I felt like that this was sort of breaking me out at the time now that I do have different skin and I do have dry skin this is working very nice on my skin but I do use it alongside another toner just because I feel like it doesn't give me the best result I do put this in a spray bottle and it works really nicely so it's good my mum uses this and she has mature skin so if you do have different skin to me you'll probably really enjoy it and then I do have three of this specific toner this one is the body shop tea tree skin clearing mattifying toner now I do have like I said three of them felt really nice now it did dry out the skin a little bit so I did have to use this with another toner so I did have to use it with the Lizelle one when it did start getting some dry patches on the skin but this works out really really well I really liked it you have the two different things you have like the liquid then you also have to powder so you have to shake it but it was nice 
as you can tell i use three of them so i think this is really good if you do have acne prone skin this is a great toner for to use because i really liked it it didn't irritate my sensitive skin and i have a lot of serums as well i actually only have three different serums but i have multiples of the majority of them so the first one i have is the chanel hydra beauty micro serum and this one is just a little tiny sample that i got and it's nice it felt very hydrating, didn't break them out or anything like that. But the thing is, I don't know if it's worth the money because I didn't buy the full size. But the small size was actually really nice. It felt, like I said, very hydrating on the skin. But didn't feel too hydrating to the point where my oily skin was going crazy and it was looking oily. So it's nice. I might purchase a full size one day. But at the moment, I'm just not sure if it's worth the money. Then I've got two of these from Face Theory. This is the As A Clear a15 serum and i think they may have changed the name of it now but this one it does contain azelic acid colloidal oat aloe vera and green tea now this worked really nicely on my skin so i did use this at night time i used to use it every single night time it didn't irritate my skin the weird thing about this was that i'd put it on and then my skin would tingle a tiny bit for probably about 10 seconds then it'd be completely fine but i really did like this and it was so hard to get my hands on it again when I needed to get another one. And I picked up something different from the website because this wasn't available. And that one just didn't work out well for me. It was like a licorice root one. And they did give me my money back. They do do a 365 day money back guarantee. And it's really good. So I actually really enjoyed this serum. Then I have loads of this one. I have five five of this one serum. Now this is the Avene Cleanance Comedoned Anti-Blemish Concentrate. Now this I'm going to use sort of in the serum category because that's what I used it as and this was actually really nice now it did have a very weird scent when I first started using it so just keep that in mind if you are very sensitive to scents this might be quite overpowering for you but I did notice that it didn't irritate my skin and I actually stopped using it for about three weeks because I didn't pick up another one and my skin was so horrible I started breaking out a lot more and I noticed a very big difference so I think this stuff is amazing it was so good on my skin and like I said I've used five of these up because it's that good I have three moisturizers but two of them are the same thing so the first one that I have is the La Roche-Posay Epiclar K great for oily skin it was very good for acne prone skin but I just don't know if it really did much for my skin I think it was nice but I don't know it had a little bit of a weird scent but it was okay it worked quite well with the cleanser but for me I don't know if I'd repurchase it oh this one they're both different this one is the Effaclar Duo okay so I have two different ones and I had absolutely no idea and the other one that I have is from Tarte and this one is the massive drink of H2O hydrating boost moisturizer and this is the massive one this one is 100 milliliters i don't know if you could get an even bigger one but this took me ages to get through it it is so good it was so good on my skin when i had oily skin it didn't make me look oily during the day it didn't dry me out too much and then i started to get dry skin and then i was getting dry patches as well from all of the acne products that i was using and this was so good on my dry skin as well i think every single person would like this and it just felt really nice and thick and it has loads of skincare ingredients in there as well i did notice a very big difference when i was using this in my skin to when i was using the other ones that i showed you and honestly my skin felt and looked much better and much plumper when i was using this so i highly recommend it i'm probably going to get my hands on some more because i do have one that i'm currently using at the moment so i really want to get my hands on it but they don't do the jumbo size anymore so that's the only thing but this is really good and any sets that this comes in i pick them up because it's that good and i have two makeup removers and an exfoliant i didn't really know where to put the exfoliant just because it's a very weird category because it's the only thing on its own so the exfoliant that i have is the paula's choice two percent bha liquid exfoliant this stuff i hated i've said it in my worst beauty of 2022 this was so bad it irritated my skin my skin got worse for this and i wasn't using it every single day i was using it a couple of times a week and it was just horrible i don't know why people like it because i didn't like it but yeah I wouldn't recommend this luckily i got the small one they gave me my money back because it wasn't working out and they're actually really good with that but yes i don't like this lots of people recommend it so if you like it i'm glad that it works for you but it just didn't work out for me and then i have two makeup removers first one is a garnier micellar cleansing water i love this stuff i've just purchased the aloe version of it to see how that is because i have got drier skin now this is so good for sensitive skin the only thing i've noticed is that now that i'm using a different makeup remover this isn't very good for the eyes 
it would literally just go everywhere so if I put this on my eyes my makeup will just smear everywhere I'll get black everywhere all over my eye so it's not the best for eye makeup but for the rest of the face this is absolutely amazing and then this last one is a cult favorite of mine I've loved it for years and years and it's the Clinique take the day off cleansing balm this stuff I absolutely love I wrote about this so much it is a massive jar it takes me like nine months to get through it and it's just so good it doesn't irritate my eyes and irritate any of my skin it's just amazing it's expensive but it's gonna last you almost a year so you just need to get your hands on it because it's that good i've also found another moisturizer of the everclad duo and the last bits of skincare i just have a few random bits so the first one is the body shop hemp hand cream and this stuff was really good it made my hands feel really nice but i do have eczema on my hands i started getting it really bad a few months ago and the only thing that works for me is the eczema cream from boots so unfortunately i can't use this anymore but if you do have very dry hands but you don't have eczema this stuff is actually really good it is quite expensive but this is a massive tube and it'll last you a very long time then i've also got this from acne side it's the benzoyl peroxide 5% gel this stuff I've used for years and years on my acne and it actually works out pretty well I get really really dry skin when I use this so it is very good if you do suffer from acne and I think it's about 10 pounds you can get it from boots you can get it from Superdrug. I have five sun creams that I used up in 2022 first one is Nivea shine control mattifying effect UV face SPF 50 this stuff is absolutely great works amazingly if you have oily skin this dries the skin but it doesn't dry out the skin if you know what I mean so it won't make you oily during the day Day. I think it's great it's like 10 pounds so it's really affordable I've also got this one from Elizabeth Arden the 8 hour sun defense for face SPF 50 PA++++ this stuff I actually did really like however I didn't think it was as good as the Nivea one because this is only 10 pounds and this is so good for oily skin and this stuff it didn't mattify my skin it didn't make me super oily but I actually do prefer the Nivea one and this is like £20 I think normally. And then I've also got three of these and it's from La Roche-Posay and it's the Aphelios 50 plus SPF and it's the anti shine one and you can tell that I really like this because I have three of them and I use them all the way up there's literally nothing left you could not get a single drag out but I got three of these I think they are so good if you have oily skin this stuff is absolutely amazing didn't break me out it is quite expensive but i do get it when it's on offer for three for two or when you've got a certain money off or a certain percentage off and i've also got a face mask from glam glow i'm so annoyed that they don't sell glam glow in the uk anymore because this stuff is so good but i do have a backup of this and this is the super mud clearing treatment and i really really like this i had this for such a long time i probably shouldn't have had it for as long as i did have it but i used it all the way up and it is so good this is just a mud mask and it's so good for pores it's so good if you have acne it just makes your skin feel and look incredible after you've used it i used to use this i think probably about once every two weeks again didn't irritate my skin it just sort of makes your skin go a little bit tingly for about a minute or two when you first apply it then after that it's completely fine so i really like this and for fragrance this has so annoyed me because i've only used up two i haven't used up any body sprays i do have a body spray and i've got about a third of it left so this is going to be used up this year i'm going to make sure that that has been used up i don't really know why i think because i tend to have the little ones in all my purses so i tend to go for those so i only have two that i've used up this year i'm going to try and use up loads more because i just have so many i have a whole drawer full of perfumes so the first one is the hotel collection number one lime basil and mandarin eau de parfum and this is actually from aldi and this is a dupe of the Jo malone fragrance and you know what this actually smells very very similar to that one so i did actually put this on when i went to selfridges not too long ago and i also sprayed the joe malone one and in all honesty this one it doesn't last as long but it lasts for a very 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 long time during the day and it's also not as strong but it has such a nice strongish smell you probably won't be able to tell the difference i get so many compliments on this people tell me that it smells like a spa smells like summer smells like spring so i will be wearing this again for summer and spring this actually only took me i think about three months to use the entire bottle and this is 100 milliliters so if i got the joe malone one and i paid over 100 pound for that and i use that within three months i would be so annoyed but this i think was only about 5.99 so super affordable much cheaper than a joe malone one and it's a massive one and it smells so good it's one of those where you've 
either like it or you hate it because me and my sisters and my friends really like the smell of this. However, Neil says that I smell like Pledge. And the other one that I have is the Pink Pepper Eau de Toilet and this is from M&S. I really like this. This is a 30 ml one. I've also purchased another one. I purchased this for everybody's birthdays and Christmases because it is so good. It smells beautiful. It's very sweet but also floral. It smells of pink pepper, jasmine and vanilla. I just, I love this. It is just such a nice scent to just spray on you before you go out. It's not overpowering. It lasts all day as well and for it to be eau de toilette. That was crazy and I think this is like £5 for the small one. You can get the 100ml one for £9.50. Now onto makeup and I have quite a few things that are in here and I'm actually quite impressed with some of the categories in here that I managed to use up but I didn't manage to use up as many because some of my products were literally right to the end of their life at the end of 2022. So it was so annoying because I didn't manage to finish them but I've already finished one of the products already and we're only a month into 2023 so it's crazy. So the first things I'm going to show you are foundations and one of these was actually something that I was determined to use up when I did my declutter. So the first one I have is the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. This is in a shade medium and this stuff I love. If you want no makeup makeup days this is amazing because it just gives you a little tint to the skin and then the weird thing is there's not much coverage but it helps with any redness. I use this even when I had acne and it was so good. All I did was put on a little bit of concealer on the acne, put this over the top and it blends beautifully. It looks really nice. They don't have many shades but they do have a new complexion touch that they have that's similar to this. It does have more coverage. They do have more shades. However, I can't get a perfect shade to match me in the new formula but medium matches me perfectly when I do have a self tan. And I actually had some more of this left over so I used everything that was in the pump, so I found a way to take off the pump. It was hard work, so I took off the pump and I still had two uses left in the pump. It is crazy. So that is basically what it looks like, so it just sucks everything up. Then I've also got an It Cosmetic CC Cream, and this is the oil-free one, SPF 40. I've said so much about this. This is my favourite CC cream without oily skin. If I have acne, I love it. Full coverage, looks nice, anti-aging ingredients doesn't make you look oily during the day. I love this, spoke about this so many times, so I will not say any more about this. And this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation in the shade 2W2. This is my self tan shade when I have a deep self tan. It's my go-to one. I love this stuff. I've raved about this so much. Lasts all day. Literally, this can look perfect from me putting it on at like eight o'clock in the morning all the way till midnight. It will look like I've just put on my makeup. It's beautiful, full coverage looks stunning on the skin i just i'm obsessed with this and i've used this for years i've also used up six concealers as well and some of them are exactly the same concealer so the first one i have i have three that i've used up and this is the elf hydrating camo concealer i love this stuff i use it every single day and it just makes my under eyes look so good it covers up all of the dark circles i do have to do two coats to help with the dark circles because at the moment mine are really really dark but most of the time i can get away with just one layer this is great blends amazingly i use it for everything doesn't break me out looks beautiful and it's only like six pounds then i also have a camo concealer as well this one's in a shade light peach i did used to absolutely love this but since my under eyes have started getting a little bit more dry the hydrating one is my favorite one this is full coverage this will last you all day this is the same price and if you do have dry under eyes, I'd say go for the hydrating one. If you don't have any issue with that, get the camo one because it's absolutely incredible. Then I've also got the Maybelline Eraser Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And this one I think is in the shade light. Love it. Only thing I don't like is the little applicator on the top because it's a little bit gross sometimes. But other than that, this is absolutely amazing. And it's from a drugstore. And then I tried out this one from Boots. It's the Tea Tree and Witch Hazel Concealer. And this is specifically for your face if you have any acne on there. And it's a spot concealer. It does last 24 months. So if you don't have a lot of spots, then it's great. However, this comes in one shade and the shade I think is natural and this is very, very dark for my skin. So this would actually suit me if I put it on over the top of my foundations, but if I wasn't wearing any foundation and I was just putting on some concealer, this would be so dark for me. Like I said, I'm super, super fair and this is only one shade. It was okay, but I don't feel like it really did anything to help to clear any of my acne or any of my spots. So I only have one face powder. This is the Coty Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. 
I've raved about this so much. I love it. It's my holy grail. I use it for everything. So I will constantly repurchase it. And because it's so massive, it lasts me almost an entire year until I use up this product. Then I've also got a setting spray, the All Nighter by Urban Decay. This stuff's okay. It just smells a lot like alcohol. I do at the moment prefer the Tarte one or the Rare Beauty one. They tend to work out a lot better. So I mean, it's nice. It does make my makeup long lasting, but I do prefer the other two. I've also got one primer. This is the e.l.f blemish fighting putty primer and i use this all the way up this is actually really nice this is my favorite of the putty primers because this actually felt very nice on the skin had a green tint to it as well so it did help with any redness it had just by a little bit and i just liked it i thought it was really good and it did help my acne and i have one highlighter which is annoying because i have so many highlighters but one highlighter that i finally managed to use and i was determined to use it in my declutter and this is the fenty beauty Hustler Baby Tiny Highlighter and I have tried to use this up for years. I think this is probably about five years old and I finally managed to use it up. Look at that. It is just clear on the inside. I'm so proud of myself. We're almost done and there's only two categories left. So this one is brows and eyes and I don't really have too many. I wish I used up a lot more. So the first one I have is eyebrows. I swear I used up another eyebrow product but I can't remember. But this one is just the one I'm going to show you anyway because it's the only one that's in the bag. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set and this was in the shade Quiet Brunette. I actually really like this. It's discontinued so you can't even get your hands on it anymore. I've got one eyeliner and this is the R.E.M. Beauty Eyeliner. To be honest, I can't remember what I thought about this. It's been so long since I used it up. I don't know if it dried up or if I used it up. I honestly can't remember. But I did do a first impression with me testing out the new Ariane Beauty collection, the Thank You Next eye set. And I did have one of these in it and I did really like it in that video. So I am revisiting it to see if I do like it. So yes, keep your eyes peeled so I can let you know if I do like it. And then I've got three mascaras as well. I thought I had more than this. And I have the Tarte Mani to Mascara, one of my favourite Holy Grails. But it has recently recently been taken over by this new one and this is the Rare Beauty Mascara. This one's just a small one. I love this mascara. This is my favourite mascara that's high end. This one is my favourite high end and my favourite drugstore one is a Maybelline Lash Lift Mascara. They're pretty much the same however I feel like I'll get more out of this one. This one does not smudge, it doesn't budge, it lasts all day. Lifts the lashes, volume, length, everything you want in a mascara. This does everything this is the best mascara i've tried i am obsessed with this i have purchased two more because it's that good and i have not been able to find a mascara that's as good then this one the bambi eye full slash mascara from l'oreal i liked it at the beginning didn't like it at the end i felt like it didn't really do anything for my lashes so i'd probably say you can skip this and lip products are the last category and i have a bunch of lip products so i'm so impressed with myself for getting through all of these because i felt like i did super good because i have a lot of lip products if you guys would have seen my declutter you'll know that there's a lot that i need to get through so i actually got through four of this one product this is the cab cosmetics lip oil i got through four of them i got through two blue raspberry a juicy melon and a rum punch as you can see i love this i use this all the time in all of my videos i have this with a lip liner these are the shades that they are so you can see there's a little tint to them and they feel very nice and their lips very hydrating and i have very 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 dry lips at the moment and this is the only thing that i can put on my lips during the day that actually looks nice and feels nice on the lips like i said i just wear this with a lip liner and you can actually choose what type of lip you want so if you want a cooler lip go for the blue raspberry one if you want a more warmer toned one go for the rum punch one they're great. I love them. I'm obsessed. I have literally a whole drawer full of them. Then I've also got a Tarte Lip Balm. This is in the shade Rose. I can't remember what the name of this is, but you can see I've used it all the way up. There's nothing left. I've even dug a lip brush in there. I can't get any more out. This was nice, but on the website, it doesn't say that it has menthol in it or peppermint so if you are very sensitive to those on the lips it can feel a little bit stingy on the lips but i did get this in a set it was nice but i wouldn't really repurchase it just because there are some other products that i do prefer then i've also got some more from tarte and these are the maracuja juicy lips and i have three of these i'm shocked that it's not any more than that but i think the cab lip oils just took over in 2022 so i have the shades orchid wild berry and strawberry strawberry was always my favorite and i have so many of these i literally have like a draw in my acrylic drawers full of these because they're that good in loads of different shades and you can see i have used up all three of these 
I love these. I love how they feel on the lips. They're so hydrating, so nourishing, and I, I just am obsessed with them. So you do have the little clicky thing on here. The only thing is, if you push out too much, you can't make it go back down. The other annoying thing is that if you look, the stopper actually stops quite a bit until you get to the top. And I said to them, I was like, why? Like, I feel like it might be broken. They're like, no, it's not broken. It's just how it works. So you have to get a lip brush down the bottom, which isn't good if you're on the go. If you're out, you don't want to get a lip brush out your bag, put it in here and then put it on your lips and then put the dirty lip brush back in your bag. That's the thing that I don't like about it. So if they could change that, I wish they could. So maybe like do a wind up one so it goes all the way up to the top. Then I've also got two more products. I have the Carmex cherry lip balm this stuff great if you have very dry lips it smells beautiful like cherries i have a strawberry one or one that doesn't have a scent so yes i recommend this if you have dry lips and then i have the chanel endless pink ultra tenue duo and this stuff i have wrote about so much it's my favorite last all day you can put it on in the morning it will still look perfect in the evening i wear the red shade every single christmas and new year I last through everything it's just amazing i love this and then also the gloss makes it really nice and hydrating on the lips as well so yes these are expensive but they're the best liquid lipstick that i've ever tried and that's everything in my 2022 empties i know this video is super long but i really just want to show you everything that i used up in 2022 and it's a lot more than i thought i would there are some products that i know that i like things that i know that i don't like and i won't repurchase anymore so i hope that this helped you out with looking at what things are worth it and what things aren't things that i repurchased as well i have looked at this and noticed that i don't use a lot of makeup makeup and I have an entire Alex nine drawers full of makeup so uh, that's something so I really need to go down and work out what I use and this is actually very eye-opening for me because it shows that I used more makeup than I did last year but also I don't use that many foundations in a year this year I'm going to use up more highlighters I'm going to use up more bronzers because I didn't use up any bronzers and I'm just going to try and use up the products I already have open so I hope that you enjoyed this video if you've done this yourself and you've seen how many empties you used last year then just comment down below to let me know because it is really interesting to to see how many things people actually use and make sure that you give this video a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video guys bye